Manas, you can proceed. Hello, hello. I will fire away in my English. I'm not much English. Net maybe I'm firstly I'm going. It actually looks or oh, look in the um, last months or weeks that now you are on an upward um, curve with your um, um, playing. You know, it looks like you have a lot of confidence and stuff like that. Is that maybe the case? And actually, don't you want to say? Actually, why it is? Is it is it nil or that maybe something? If yes, please, I'm going. Again, I think that's probably the biggest factor um, as to why I'm playing well. Um, you know, I'm enjoying training. Um, you know, I've got a sort of mentality of of trying to learn um, again and be a student of the game. So. Yeah, and I think uh, the credit also has to go to the team. Um, you know, obviously, um, we've actually been playing a uh, good rugby, obviously, bar last weekend. Um, so, yeah, I think it, it also comes down to to the guys around me. Um, you know, a lot of credit has to go to them, and, and that's one of the reasons why I'm performing the way I am. Mark Greenway? How's it, Kern? Um, after you guys did your analysis of the Stormers game, was there something you could put your finger on as to what went wrong? Was it just a bad day at the office? They were very good. Um, just your thoughts on what you what you guys came up with and what you've got to put right. Yeah, Mike, obviously, um, to our standards, um, that performance was, was not good enough. Um, we obviously had an in-depth review of, of what went wrong and um, I think on the day, just nothing really went our way. Um, we made we made a lot of mistakes um, that we you know we wouldn't usually make. Um, and you know, against a good team like the Stormers, um, they're going to punish you for for those mistakes, and and that's exactly what they did. Um, you know, they took their opportunities when 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 they got there, and um you know we just we just couldn't get back after that but i i think also one of the biggest factors um in that game was our discipline that let us down um we conceded um quite a few penalties um at crucial stages in the game and we just we were always on the back foot and we could never get um a little bit of momentum to, to you know try and turn things around because um we just conceded too many penalties just looking ahead this week now the the lines uh I would imagine are lying in ambush. Um, they they must fancy their chances. And um, what what do you? I mean, starting well at Ellis Park, how important is it going to be? Yeah, it's really important for us. Um, you know, we always speak about you know starting fast and starting well. Um, and this week is no different. Um, we haven't approached this week any different to any other game. Um, we're sticking to our processes. Um, we want to get out onto the park on Saturday and perform well. Um, and the guys have really up to now, uh, the past two days, the training has gone really well, um, and the guys are are quite keen to, to to rectify things this weekend. So, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. Um, obviously, applying all the learnings from from that Stormers game, um, and yeah, just going out this weekend and and playing the game um, or executing our game plan to the best of our ability. Thanks, Karen. Good. Manus? Yeah, yeah, Nate, maybe after uh, actually last, like now, last weekend, how hard is it actually for you and the other guys to um, have a um, positive mindset, um, Kevin? Yeah, like I mentioned, it's obviously not, not good enough for us to perform the way we did, um, especially at home. But, um, you know, obviously we've had a little bit of a break now. We, we did our review and, you know, the guys went away. We try to, you know, switch off for a little bit and the guys came back refreshed and, and energized. Um, so I think we are ready to hit the ground running. Um, we know what we're capable of um, and it's just a matter of putting it all together. Um, and, you know, we take it week by week, game by game. And on Saturday, it's just another opportunity to go out and, and deliver in the Sharks jersey. Any further questions? 
I um, can sir Dan, you oh, can I? Sorry. Uh, shall I go, Mark? Yeah. Yes, please proceed. Uh, uh, Cohen, just um, looking at the Lions specifically, um, the kind of game that, that they can play up there at altitude, how they've played overseas, what do you expect from the Lions? Yeah, we know what to expect from the Lions. Um, they're obviously a team that's, that's um, trying to play a bit of an expensive brand uh, of, of rugby, and they've got you know, they've got quality players in, in their side and obviously a couple of old boys um, that will be playing against us that, that used to be here. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a, a big physical uh, a challenge for us. Um, you know, they're a very good set-piece set piece based team. Their scrum is very strong. So, yeah, we, we've, we've done a bit of prep on them. And um, uh, like I said earlier, again, uh, our focus this week is just to try and go out and, and execute our plan that we've put in place. Um, if we can do that and, you know, we can we can be disciplined in the way we defend, um, yeah, we'll be okay. Thank you. Next. I, um, Kevin is at nine, yeah. Uh, just just a, a question, a follow up on, on what Mike asked. With regards to the Lions and, and their style of play, um, how much uh, of a role or, or impact does a guy like Jordan Hendricks have in the way they want to play? And, and just how, how do you see him as an opponent? Yeah, we we obviously know Jordan's a really good rugby player. Um, I think the, the, the biggest factor uh, this weekend at altitude is gonna, probably going to be his boot. He, he kicks a ball a long way. Um, and like I mentioned, we struggled a bit with our discipline against the Stormers. Um, if we're going to give away uh, penalties and things like that, we know he can slot the ball over from, from anywhere on the field, really. So I think that's going to be really crucial. Um, and, yeah, I think just putting a lot of pressure on him, not giving him time and space to, you know, exploit the backfield and kick the ball a long way. So, yeah, we we obviously planned, have a, have, have a couple of plans up our sleeves. Um, but yeah, he's a, he's a quality rugby player, and I'm I'm looking forward to that challenge. Great, thanks. Media, have any final questions? Um, I have one last one. Yes, um, of course. Cohen, you you mentioned guys um, that were previously with you guys. <laughs> What's it like to play against a, a bloke like Marius though, who who you know so well and you're so friendly with? Um, what what is he like on the field though when he's in another jersey? Yeah, it's, it's it's strange seeing Mara in a in a different jersey. Um, you know, we started our careers together here at the Sharks, but um, yeah, Marius is a he's a flipping great rugby player. Um, he's tough, he's hard, um, and you know you're gonna get um, a lot of work rate um, and a lot of energy and physicality from from him. So it's just a matter of of us stopping that, um, trying to minimize, uh, take his space away. Um, yeah, uh, we, we're not really too focused on, you know, the individuals and what they want to bring. Um, again, we're going to go out and, and just try and play the best that we can. No, thanks, Karun. I was just wondering if you might have a few chirps for you guys. <laughs> Very good. So, thanks, man. 